Let's get excited about data. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Frank, the data guy. So today, we are going to make analyzing data fun and interesting. We have a fictional scenario, which is a snowboard company. The snowboard company has different types of boards, um, sale price, cost of, cost of goods sold, profit margin, color, shipping location, the length of the boards, and where were the boards manufactured. As you can see, we have several data points. Before diving in to the data, I want to spend a couple of seconds and talk about dimensions and measures. You want to start separating the information in your head before diving into it. So what are your dimensions? Your dimension is what you may call your main categories. What are we analyzing? We're analyzing boards, where could they be shipped, and really the, the colors as a third dimension. And now we have our measures. Think of measures as sort of the metrics and the values, the numerical values associated with your data. Obviously, in this case, is our revenue, cost of goods sold, and length. Let's go back to our data and dive right into it. Select your whole spreadsheet, data, pivot table. Okay, now we have our pivot table. Stop. Before we start playing with the table, let's think about what are we looking for? What would we be interested for us to see? I would say as a first measure, how many boards did we sell? So take your board type, as you dimension, drop it in the row label. Let's get rid of this blank measure here. Okay. Sales price value. Voila. We have sold exactly 1194 snowboards. So now we're starting to have an idea as to what's happening with our data. Let's say we want to see, for example, where did we send those boards? Take your shipping location, drop it in a column label, boom, here we go. Now, as you can tell, um, 420 boards were sold in Africa, 144 in the Caribbean, 366 in Europe, 264 in South America for the grand total of 1194. Now, let's say you want to see where were those boards manufactured? Where were they made? We could get rid of the shipping location. Use another measure, which is the manufactured location. And there we have it. Voila. Now, as you can tell, most of our boards were made in Wyoming with California second and Utah third. As you can tell, using pivot table is a great way to start dissecting and chopping the information so that the data set and the sheets starts to make sense to you. Um, let's say now we're interested in seeing how much revenue that we generate from this. So the pivot table, this is actually important, automatically defaults to count, which is the instances, the occurrences that we have the data, but we're interested in seeing the sum. Here, there you have it. We have made 342000 from our little snowboard operation. Not bad, although fictional. Um, how much did it cost us? We can grab the cost of goods sold. Same concept here. Click here, change from count to sum. And voila. It has cost us around 172000 to manufacture these boards. Um, okay. So there you have it. You have your pivot table. It's a good thing to spend time in your data set. Start playing with the values. We could start looking at colors, um, the length of the board. Maybe there's a correlation between the length of the board and the shipping location. And this will start as you start playing with your values and understanding what's going on with, with your data set. The information will start making sense. But the most important part is here. Start thinking about these aspects before diving in your data set. Start thinking about what are your dimensions, what are your measures, and understanding what's, what do you want to get out of the data. And yeah, there you have it, folks. Data analysis made easy. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. Do not be scared of data points. Take care. Bye-bye.